What's going on, everyone? Scott here. Welcome back to the channel. This will be the last preview before the NFL Draft. If you watched any of the draft preview videos, the full mock draft, the Panthers uh, draft preview, the Rams draft preview, thank you. Um, if this is your first one, make sure to check out those other ones before the draft. Why not? Uh, but we're going to be doing the Kansas City Chiefs here, obviously coming off back-to-back -back Super Bowls. Not losing a whole lot from those rosters going into this year. Uh, obviously, a key departure in Legere's Sneed. Um, however, some key positions still need to be addressed here in the draft. Wide receiver, they brought in Marquise Brown to go with young receivers in Rasheed Rice and Sky Moore. We saw flashes from both Rice and Moore, but with Rice, obviously, some off-the-field stuff going on. Sky Moore needing to see another step going forward, and I think uh, they just need to get another body in there, you know, just to provide some more competition to the room. Tackle position is very thin, with Jawan Taylor being the only proven guy at the position at this point, really. Uh, cornerback, obviously, as we said, losing Legereus Sneed in the offseason was a big hit. So looking to add some secondary help there. You still have Trent McDuffie back there, uh, but need someone to pair him with, you know, opposite of him. Safety, you know, I think you need to add someone back there to go with Justin Reed opposite of him. Possibly you could see a defensive tackle too with uh, Chris Jones, you know, being a vet in this league, looking to get someone in, you know, under him to, you know, learn from, you know, one of the best defensive tackles in the game currently and to ever play the game. Uh, possibly you could see another linebacker go as well to add some depth with uh, Nick Bolton and Drew Tranquil. So same thing, going to be done in the first three rounds. And first three rounds, they have three picks. Got uh, 32, 64, and 95. Okay, now I'll add a little asterisk here with pick number 32. If you watch my Carolina Panthers draft preview and you didn't watch the mock draft, I picked Keon Coleman in the Carolina Panthers mock draft in the second round because he was there when I did the mock draft. But I'm going off of my original mock draft here. And at 32, I got the Kansas City Chiefs getting a stud wide receiver in Keon Coleman, because he's on the board. So you got to take him. But Keon Coleman, he's a guy that can do everything you need at the wide receiver position. Contested balls, deep balls, grab and go balls, can block as well. I'll say it again. Do not let the combine stats distract you from the fact that he should be a day one pick. He's a stud. He could play immediately, would be a top four wide receiver on this roster, you know, going into the year and, you know, possibly moving into a starting spot, you know, after camp or after a couple games into the season. He was the first Florida State player, actually, to win all three first team awards in the conference. First team, ACC wide receiver, all purpose and special teams player at 64. Could see them going with Braden Fisk here if he is still on the board. But I got them going with the Joe Moore Award winner, which is the top offensive tackle in college football, and Washington's Roger Rosengarten. Lots of starting experience as the blindside blocker for Michael Penix. You know, he's a right tackle, and obviously Michael Penix Jr. was a left-handed quarterback um, there at Washington. He graded out as the 13th best offensive tackle. Could be an early contributor for Kansas City as well once he gets settled in. You know, maybe not year one starter, but I can see him getting a lot of reps year one and, you know, by year two, slotted into one of those starting tackle spots. So last one, pick 95. I got them getting Justin Reed some help at the safety position in Dadrian Taylor Demerson, safety from Texas Tech. Ranked as the seventh best safety at the Combine, ran a 4-4-140, played in pretty much his whole career, played, uh, Played pretty much in every year of his career. 10 career interceptions, a couple forced fumbles, a handful of tackle for losses as well. And he has a sack on his in his career as well. Um, I think these pickups would, you know, add great depth to the Super Bowl champs. And I think, you know, a guy like Keon Coleman can help them immediately this year. You know, not even just, you know, two, three years on the line. I think he can help immediately this year. But anyway... That'll do it. Um, thank you all so much for watching. If you watched all of the draft videos leading up to the draft this year, thank you. But it should be a good draft come Thursday. And looking forward to enjoying with it and, you know, coming back and talking about everything afterwards. Thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next one. Peace out.